हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इन ट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम now let's discuss about the windows auto patch prerequisites the very first prerequisite is the licensing requirement and with respect to licensing requirement windows auto patch requires windows 10 or 11 enterprise e3 or higher license to be assigned to the user or microsoft 365 e3 e5 windows 10 or 11 enterprise e3 e5 or windows 10 or 11 enterprise VDA service plan SKU that are eligible for Windows Auto Patch. Windows operating system 10 edition 1809 or above or Win 11 build for Pro Enterprise and Pro for Workstation is eligible for Windows Auto Patch. And additionally, we should have Azure Active Directory Premium license as well as the Microsoft Intune. With respect to Active Directory requirement. Azure Active Directory must either be a source of authority for all the accounts, or user account must be synchronized from on-premises Active Directory using the latest supported version of Azure Active Directory Connect to enable hybrid Azure Active Directory join. With respect to Configuration Manager co-management requirement, we should use a currently supported Configuration Manager version. and the config manager must be cloud attached with intune that is co managed and must have the following co managed workload enable then the workloads are windows update policy workload device configuration workload and office click to run app workload either on pilot intune or intune now the next prerequisite is the network configuration so windows auto patch is a cloud service and there are a set of endpoints that windows auto patch service must be able to reach for the various aspects of the windows auto patch services we can optimize the network by sending all the trusted microsoft 365 network request directly through their firewall or proxy to bypass authentication and all additional packet level inspection or processing this process reduce latency and perimeter capacity requirement the proxy or firewall must support tls 1.2 otherwise you might have to disable the protocol detection now the next requirement is to allow the required windows auto patch and points for proxy and firewall role so to work windows auto patch properly we have to add these four urls in allowed list in firewall role the next prerequisite is related to required microsoft product endpoints we need to ensure that the windows 10 11 enterprise including windows update for business microsoft 365 microsoft azure active directory microsoft intune microsoft edge microsoft team and windows update for business services and their respective urls are added in the allowed list i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video